Welcome back to Made with Love by Glamma, where we are going to be doing this live crochet along. So hopefully you joined me last Tuesday. Um, last Tuesday we made this little motif. Isn't that adorable? So today we are going to be making, oh well we'll see how long it takes, but I'm going to try to complete making a um, fingerless glove. So yeah, I've got different yarns here that you can use for today's project or any yarn that you have on hand but i'm going to check before we go into this a little too far i'm going to check and see if we are live so hold on a quick second it says i'm offline it doesn't say i'm online hmm. hold on Oh, you can see me, Andy? Because over here it's telling me that I'm offline, so I didn't think anyone could see me. Who can, if anyone else is in here, let me know that you're in here. Hmm. It says that no one is on. Let me go check. So yeah, I'm still I'm still new to this whole live thing, so for crocheting anyway. So let me see if I'm showing. Oh, it is showing. But over here it says I'm offline. But it I guess I am online. Yeah, so I didn't think I was on. Michelle Lisa says hi and I see you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for responding. So it shows that I am live on Facebook. Now let me go and check YouTube. We're getting the kinks out, guys. So bear. Yeah, it says that I'm live. Check your own YouTube too. It says that I'm live on YouTube as well. So okay. And maybe just didn't refresh. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, well, maybe that's. Should I refresh that, or will that mess well, me no, up? No, I wouldn't mess with anything okay. since it's working. <laughs> All right. And the weather's kind of bad. Hey, Adam, do you think maybe you can string that thing over here in case oh, it starts? Because yeah. since the weather's, it's going to start raining. It looks like. So you have a port over here. Yeah, I have a port over here. All right. So I guess I am live. Andy says yes. Michelle says hi. I see you. Huh? I don't know if that'll mess up your connection, but switching it. And then Lisa, Lisa. Seeger says, long time crocheter, good afternoon. I probably butchered your last name, Lisa, I'm so sorry. Well, thanks for joining me, everyone. Andy says, I saw you both on Facebook and YouTube, awesome, so I'm working. It's just showing that I'm not um, online over there. Hi, Diane, how are you? Hi, April. <laughs> All right, so I am live, yay. Let me go and share this to my crochet group. If any of y'all that are my crochet people here if you haven't joined my ladies crochet group on facebook go and do that um hold on i'm gonna go and share it really quick if i can let me see share to a group ladies it's so if you don't know what it's called it's ladies and gents crochet show and tell happy hour let me show you what it looks like hold on I'm not sure if this is just going to... Just bear with me. I'm going to write... I'm going to type a title for my crochet group. I don't know if it's going to automatically switch over or if it's going to cut you off. I hope it doesn't cut me off. I think it'll just... I think I used to be able to just put it... Type it. I mean, put it in. Okay. So, yeah. If you want... This is what... I don't know if you can see this logo, but that's what the logo for my crochet um, group looks like. So go and find that on Facebook if you're not already um, in there. And you just have to answer a few questions so that I make sure that you are there for crochet purposes. 
and not a troll. So I have everyone answer a few questions so that we don't get people in there putting rated X things in there, triple X things in there, which I've had in the past. I've had people put gross pictures on there. Ooh, it's raining hard. Um, and so I had to stop that by getting, by, an, by having them answer a few questions. So just click on that, answer the questions, and that's it. So I'm going to share it to there. Where else should I share it? I have another group called, um, hold on, let me find it. So we're going to get started here in just a little bit. I'm going to crochet some fingerless gloves today. So my other Facebook group is called Glamas All Crafts Sh um, Show and Tell Circle. So yeah, for those that don't just crochet, maybe you knit, you Tunisian, um, crochet or maybe you do DIY projects this um, group is where you can post all your pictures and everything that you've made to show it off the other one is just for crochet so it's you get to see all of my crochet tutorials but I'd like to see what you've made while watching my crochet tutorials or just what you've made um, in general that's the place to share it is the other one that I just showed you this one is for all crafts Okay, let me type a title really quick, and then we will get started with our live crochet tutorial. So I'm going live a little differently than I did last week. The way that I'm going live today is the way that I wanted to go live last week, but it didn't work out for me, and Adam wasn't here to help me. Now Adam is here, so he was able to help me out. Um, so now, um, I've got two cameras going. I've got one right here to show my hands close up. Let me show you while I've got you here. And I've got the second camera to show me far away. So here's the close up. So this is when we get started. I'll show my hands this way so you can see my hands crocheting. And then when I am done with that, I can show this. Okay, so let's see if I have any new comments. Let me see if I can find the, where I left off. Okay. Diane says, hi, Leticia. I already read that. And then a purple lily says, hi. Hi there. So nice to see you crocheting again. Oh, thank you. Andy says, can you please send me? Okay. I thought that was about crochet. Diane says, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Andy says, take your time. Okay, thank you, Andy. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to um, see if we can crochet some fingerless mitts. Super, super duper easy fingerless mitts pattern that I just kind of came up with. And I'm sure you other people have come up with it as well. But I'm not going to be doing it out of Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I'm going to do it so that I can use these as driving gloves. Because, you know, as we get older, when the sun hits your hands or hits things, you get sunspots. So I've been wanting to make me some fingerless gloves so that when I'm driving, when the sun's hitting my hands, that I don't get any sunspots. Right now, I don't have any at all, and I want to keep it that way. I'm going to close the door because I can hear my puppies crying. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the same yarn, this right here that I used. It's a thin cotton yarn. I'm going to use the green. So we're going to be doing that today. But in case you don't have that kind of yarn, I am going to show you um, how you can gauge it if you want to make the same I'm making. You don't have to make the same size as me, but just in case you're wanting to, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Here, hold on a second. All right, so I'm going to change it to the other camera, and that way you can see what I'm talking about. So, I crocheted, in case you're wanting to use crochet thread here, and this measures about four and a half, oops, you can't see. Let me bring this down a little bit. Okay, trying to figure out the camera angles here still. All right, so this measures... about is right there see so that's using crochet thread and I had to um, I had to chain 26 for this one 
So 26 chains gives me 25 actual stitches, okay? So if you're using crochet thread and you wanna make the same size as me, then you would chain 25 if you have crochet thread. And I'm only making the glove to go from here, the palm, to about right there. So that's where the fingerless glove would be, from there to there. So if you're using crochet thread, that's what you would do. And for that, I used um, a 2.50 millimeter hook, okay? Millimeter hook, let's see if I can get it to focus on something other than the background. Ugh, I don't know about this camera. Anyway, that says 2.50. So if you're using crochet thread, you can use a 2.50 um, crochet hook and 25 chains. If you're using what I'm going to be using today, which is this Bernat cottonish yarn, um, I used a 4.0 hook to get this little sample. And this also measures the four and a half inches, I believe. Yep, see, four and a half inches. And I only had to chain how many for this one? Let me see. Do, 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 do. Where are we? Here we are. So I chained one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 stitches. So that means I chained 21 stitches if you're using this cottonish Burnett um, yarn, which is what I'm going to be using today. Okay, so see the difference? It's the same size as the crochet thread, but the crochet thread, I had to do 26 chains. This one, I only had to do 21 chains. And I'm using a 4.0 millimeter hook. If you have cotton yarn, the regular size cotton yarn, and I've got the same size sample here, I measured it on the same gauge, so that's four and a half inches for that. And I just have a little ball of yarn. And for this, to get it to this size, the same size as the other, I used a 4.50 hook. And I chained how many? If you have this yarn, you will chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you would chain 19. I have nine, I have 18 stitches. So you would chain 19 if you're using this kind of yarn today. If you're using regular Red Heart Super Saver, which is what most of us usually crochet with, I have a ball here and I already made a little gauge sample. And this is gonna measure the four and a half as well. See? There you go, four and a half as well. And this is Red Heart Super Saver. And I'm using a 5.0 millimeter hook to get that size. And how many did I chain? Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I made 19 chains to get 18 stitches to get it to the same gauge as everything else. So isn't this crazy how just by using a different yarn, you get the same size, but you have to chain different amounts. Isn't that crazy? So here's the, hold on. let me line them all up together so you can see. So this is the cotton yarn. This is red heart yarn, and they're all the same size samples. This is the yarn I'll be using today. See, all the same size, but I chained totally different amounts for each of them. And then the thread one is right here. Where is it? Where'd you go? Oh, it fell inside my thing. Okay. So then we've got this one, which is the really, really thin crochet thread. Also the same size, same gauge, but this one I chained 26. This one I forget how many I said. I think I said 21 and then 19 and 19, I believe. So yeah, so I don't know if I said those correctly, but if not, you can rewind and see what I said earlier, a second ago. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna get started with the one that I'm going to be using today. So where's the 
I'm not going to use the red heart. You guys can do that if you want. I'm not going to use the cotton one because that would be too thin, I mean, too thick. The reason I'm using the one that I'm using today is because I want to use it for the summertime, you know, when the sun is out. And so this is really nice and thin and airy. And so it's going to fit nice from about there to about there. And it's going to cover on my hand so that I don't get sunspots later on. So if you want to use these for winter time, then you would use a different yarn. And so like I said, I gave you the gauge and the amount of change you would need for those sizes, for those particular yarns. Okay, let me see how I'm going to do this. Hold on a second. So what I'm going to do, what did I say? I chained how many? I'm going to take this all apart and start over so that you can do it with me from the beginning but i want to remember how many i chained one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty yeah twenty one then so to get this size to do the same size as me we're going to chain twenty one and it's going to fit about there so here is a hand mannequin so that's about how we're going to do it and it's going to be a super super simple fingerless glove and I'm leaving it kind of short because I might add a little cuff either later today or if we don't have time we'll do the cuff um, next Tuesday I'll show you how to add a cuff to it and then we might add a little frilliness up here at the top next week too okay so there's that and so for this one, I'm going to be using, like I said, 4.0 millimeter hook. This camera is going to be really blurry, I think. I don't know why. But I think you can still see my hands. Okay, so I typed something about jewelry. Oh, darn it. That's Why is that on there? I don't want that on there. Okay, so <laughs> the jewelry um, little things that you see is just automatically the, the bot is typing that in and I don't really want that in there so just ignore that um, so just ignore the my glamorazzi thing where my jewelry is okay so just ignore that do, 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 do. let's see if I missed any comments um, Diane says yes I'm glad you're back with crocheting I've missed you Andy says me too Diane <laughs> Andy says, Diane, nice to meet you. Crystal says, hi, Leticia, how are you doing? I'm doing good, guys. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this little sample size apart, okay? Because that's what we're going to be using. So did all that other stuff make sense? Um, I showed you all the little samples of the crochet thread. That was four, four and a half inches. I showed you um, this, which is a real thin cotton yarn, which is four and a half inches. Um, and then I showed you the bigger cotton one and then the Red Heart Super Saver did all that Did you did you get all that if not you might want to write it down or watch this over again? If you want to make these gloves later or if you're watching the replay of this um, Because it's the exact same gauge. I used four and a half inches as my gauge and So all of those little samples were four and a half inches, but I chained different amounts for the different yarns that I was using. So I did that ahead of time in case what you have on hand is one of those that I just showed you. So I hope it all made sense. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take this apart so we can start fresh together, okay? Like I said, I'm making these for myself to keep in my car so that when I'm driving in this hot Texas sun, um, my hands aren't gonna start getting sunspots. Um, I know that I'll probably get some eventually anyway, but I'm going to try to um, help my skin by trying to protect it as much as I can by making these real thin cotton fingerless gloves for when I'm driving. I'll call them my driving fingerless gloves. Diane says, yes, I wrote all down. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to, um, I, what did I say? Oh, what did I say for this one? 21? I think I said 21. Oh, darn. I think it's 21. I'll, I'll keep the I'll keep the measuring tape out so I can keep measuring it because I think what what did I say with for this one, Diane? Did I say I chained 21 or 20? I don't remember. I'll keep the I'll keep the um, measuring tape out just in case. 
So let me know, Diane, if you remember what I said for this particular yarn. All right, and for everyone that's watching the replay, thank you so much for watching the commercial at the beginning of this video. And for all the commercials in between that you're going to be seeing, thank you so much for watching them. That's what helps me be able to bring these free tutorials to you for free. I get a few cents every time that you watch the commercials all the way through their entirety. If you hit the skip ad button, then I don't get any, I don't get any money. Usually it's like two or three cents every time that you watch the commercial for me. So um, thank you so much for those of y'all that don't hit the skip ad button. I really truly appreciate it. It helps me to be able to buy more yarn and uh, just do the things that I need to do. And it pays for my time to make these tutorials as well. So I'm going to ask Google to set a timer for an hour because I'm hoping this won't take more than an hour. If so, we might have to continue it next week. Okay, Google, set timer for one hour. One hour, and that's starting now. 21, okay, thanks, Diane. So I did say 21. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm glad you wrote it down. <laughs> All right, so we are going to get started with a slip knot. So for those of y'all that are new to crochet, this is how I do a slip knot. I wrap it around my two fingers. I drop the yarn that's coming from the ball. I put it in there. I grab it with my hook. And then there we go. There's a slip knot. There's lots of ways to make slip knots, but this is the way that I have kind of perfected it and made it so that it's nice and quick for me. Um, yes, I have a YouTube channel. Um, go. You can either type in at YouTube. You can type in Made With Love by Glamour or you can type in Leticia Wilson. I'm live right now on both YouTube and Facebook. So Crystal was just asking me if I have a YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, make 21 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So you start off with a certain amount of chains, for me 21 today, but because we don't go into that very um, 21st chain we go into the one right there we go into the second chain from the hook that is going to end up giving us 20 stitches instead of 21 because the the chain that we're skipping right there you see this chain that we're skipping that is going to be the height of our single crochet that we're making okay so we skip the first one go into the second I'm using the back loops only of the V yarning over bringing hook bringing the yarn through, yarning over again, and going through both of the loops. And I'm gonna do that to all 19, no, all 20 stitches. I think it's 21. Two. And I'm going through the back loops only. I hope I'm in the shot. So if you're wondering what I mean by back loops, if you see, when you make a chain, you see how there's those, these little V's? I'm going through the back part of the V only, not the front part over here. I'm only going through the back part. There is a way where you can do it, where you can do both, but that takes more time and I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to go in through the back loop of, hold on, of the V's. Hold on, let me see, let me see, what am I doing? Okay, yeah. And if you want to make it sturdier, there's another way to do it as well. But like I said, it takes a little bit more time. Um, you can go in here where, the, where that back V is, and you can grab the yarn that's in the middle. There's the back V, the front V, and then inside there is another loop. You can grab the back V and that middle loop if you want to make it a little sturdier. But I'm perfectly fine by just grabbing the back loop. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Okay, so we're just going to do this all the way till we get to the end of our chain. That looked weird. I don't know why that feels weird. Hold on, let me do that one again. Yeah, that felt weird. I have to 
find a different table for doing this because my chair is too high and the table is too low so it's hurting my back right now <laughs> okay so let's get going here so who's crocheting with me right now or who's just watching who grabbed your yarn that you have near you and a hook and who's crocheting with me and if you're crocheting with me what kind of yarn are you using are you using the same yarn I am are you using red heart super saver hold on my hook got tangled up what yarn are you using today so the only thing about going live is that the video is not as clear as when I film it and then edit it and then upload it so that's the only thing that I've noticed when I watched back last week's live I noticed that it's not as clear Diane is crocheting along hi Debbie how are you and a purple lily says she's just watching okay and yeah, anyone that's watching the replay, even though you didn't make it live, that's quite all right. I'll be live again with a live crochet along next Tuesday around this same time. So I'm almost at the end of my chain, guys. I'm trying to go slow because last time, because it's blurrier, if I move my hands too fast, it just like, it just looks really, really fuzzy. So I'm trying to go slower this time. Okay, where am I? Here we go. So that's why I'm crocheting kind of slow. So I chained 21 and I should have 20 stitches by the time I get to the end of the row. Diane says mine is Red Heart Super Saver, a hunter green. Oh, pretty. Carol Washington says, hi, Glamma. Hi, Carol. How are you? Okay, so I'm almost at the end here. I've got two more chains to go. This is row number one. And here is my very last stitch, guys. See that? There's that back V. That is the very last stitch. Don't forget to go into that or else your work will come out crooked. Okay, so there is the end of my row. This should be about four and a half inches. Let me see. See if I got it right again. So there it is. Do, 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 do. Yep, four and a half inches right there. See? There we are. All right, so I can put that away now. And now I can just crochet. So now to turn, we're going to um, yarn over, chain one, turn our work counterclockwise, and we're going to go into the very first stitch right there that very first little divot right there we're going to go into there make a chain i mean not make a chain make a, a single crochet and then we're just going to do that to all of the rest of the stitches just going to make single crochets all the way to the end and then we're going to repeat each row exactly the same way like i said this is a super super easy project super easy um, pattern and it's just going to all be out of single crochets okay and I'm going through both V's so here's the V's on the top you see there's the V's and I'm actually grabbing both sides of the V by going into this stitch where I'm going right into there and you see how I grabbed both V's there's the front and there's the back grabbing both pulling the yarn through, yarning over, and going through both loops. And that is how you make a single crochet. I'll get some comments in just a second once I finish this row. So in a minute, I'll switch over to the other camera so I don't have to be bent over quite so much because once I finish this row and chain one and turn my work around, that's what you're going to be doing for the remainder of the rows is the same thing until our work measures all the way around our hand okay so i'll show you that in just a second 
yeah because my back is already starting to hurt because I'm on a high chair and my table is really low and so my back is already hurting and I'm no spring chicken <laughs> how old am I am I 56 or am I 57 I don't remember but I'm one of those okay so when you get to this spot here a lot of people forget to go into that last stitch they forget it they chain one and they turn their work around and then people wonder why their work is angling this way instead of straight on so don't forget to go into the very last stitch of the row grab the very last v see see if it'll focus for me there's the front v there's the back v go into the very last stitch if you have to count your stitches every single row to make sure that you're getting all of them then you might have to do that in the beginning until you're used to what the last one looks like so I just um, chained one turning my work clockwise and I'm just going to repeat all the way down to the end I'm not going to forget that last stitch I'm going to go in there make a single crochet chain one turn my work clockwise and I'm going to continue all the way until this goes all the way around my hand like that till it meets back over here around my hand and then we're gonna sew it together okay so let me switch cameras real quick I probably look awful yeah so I'm bent over like this because my table is really low guys and my back is starting to hurt <sighs> okay so I can finally straighten up okay so if anyone needs me to switch to camera two to see what I'm doing with my hands, then just ask me to do so. If anyone is just joining me and you're wondering what I'm doing, just ask me to switch to the second camera and I can do that for those of y'all that are live with me. Um, Carol says, I can see you. Debbie says, hi Leticia, I'm glad you're back crocheting. Aw, thank you. Crafty Crochet and Bible with Angela says, hello, hi, hi Angela. Debbie says, bless you, I'm 70 and have a bad back too, XXX. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I've made so far. And so I'm just going to sit back right here. I've got a pillow on my chair. I'm going to sit back and chit. I'm going to put my feet up on the table as a matter of fact. <laughs> Get comfortable. And um, that's all we're going to be doing. We're just going to be doing what I just showed you, single crochets over and over until this reaches all the way around my hand so that was one let me make sure i have the right amount of stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirty four fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty i have twenty stitches so i did it correctly i chained twenty one for this thread for this crochet yarn and so that gives me twenty stitches okay the reason why you chain 21 but you end up with 20 stitches is because the chain that you skip in the beginning is for the height of your single crochet okay if we were doing half double crochets or double crochets you would you know skip two or three you know two for a half double three for a, a double and so on okay so right now i'm just crocheting my little rows crocheting my little heart out so would you rather I stay on this camera or would you rather I go to the second camera so you can see my hands at the same time as you're crocheting let me know doesn't matter I can, my back can handle it if you want me to switch to the other camera um, Debbie said okay I already read that so yeah go ahead and leave comments if you want ask questions if you want I am live and thank you everyone for joining me live I'm not sure how many people are on here but those of y'all that are here thank you so much I should be doing this every Tuesday and once I get all the kinks worked out of going live and my two cameras and everything I might start going live two times a week okay so I'm at the end of that row so that is row three you know what I've got a row counter here I think I'm gonna use a row counter so that way when I make my second one, I won't forget. <laughs> okay, so I've made 21 chains. I have to remember that. And um, I couldn't find the live comments last week. Last week I said I would read the comments over again and answer any questions that y'all might have left me.
but I couldn't find the comments after I was done going live. So right now I am live on both Facebook and YouTube, which is awesome. And I shared my Facebook live to my crochet groups over there. Diane says, that's exactly what I'm doing. I declined my chair up and I'm on row five already. I'm only on row three. Um, Crafty Crochet says, how do you use a crochet a row counter? Okay, let me show you. So I'm going to switch cameras again and I'm going to show you my row counter. I might have to take it off my neck. So right now I know for a fact that I am on row three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go back to zero on these. Okay. So I already know that I'm on row three. So I'm going to click one, two, three, and then you can lock it if you want so that you don't accidentally click it. And then when I finish this row, I'll unlock it and I'll click four. I'll show you that when I when I get to row four. Okay, so I'm on row three right now. You can get these on Amazon. You can get you might even be able to get them at Walmart now. You can get them at Joann's. You can get them at any craft store. Okay, so that's how you use a row counter. Okay, I'm gonna switch cameras now. All right, so I'm gonna get to row. This is gonna be okay. What did I say? This is gonna be row four. No, wait. Did I just finish row three? Hold on. One, two, one. I'm confused how many rows I just did. I think one, two. Oh, I'm starting row three. Okay, so I'm starting row three. Okay, I'm so confused. I need to quit talking. <laughs> That's not true. I can talk and um, crochet at the same time. Unless I'm counting. When someone used to come up to me, like my daughter or, or my husband would come up to me while I was crocheting and if I had to count um, during it and if I didn't want to lose count let's say I was saying two three four and then someone came up to me I'd say five six I would crochet really I would count really loud so they would know oh okay she's counting she's not ignoring me on purpose she's counting because usually I just count in my head so no one knows that I'm counting so they would come up to me and try to talk to me um, but let's say that I'm counting in my head right now and I'm saying eight 12, 13, I would do that so that they would know that I was counting. And they're like, oh, oh okay, sorry, moms, or, or sorry, babe, or whatever, whoever it is that was trying to talk to me. So, yeah. And right now that we've already, I've already done my counting. I've made 21 chains, and I've got 20 single crochets that I'm making, and I'm just going to do that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until this whole project goes around my hand. And that's all I'm doing for anyone that is just joining me. If anyone is just joining me and you wanted to see how many chains I made for Red Heart Super Saver yarn, decline it. I won't, yeah, I, it, it automatically declines a member um, asking to join if they don't answer all the questions. So all the questions have to be answered before a member is accepted. All right, so now I'm on row four. So let me go back to my other camera. So I just finished row three so now what I'll do is I will unlock my row counter hit row four and know that I am now on row four and that's it that's how you use a row counter super super easy okay so now I'm on row four what row are you on Diane <laughs> Andy says my mom tried to find me a row counter oh really you can just get them really inexpensively on Etsy on Amazon Row counters are pretty, pretty cheap nowadays. I think mine was like $2.99 for this one on either Amazon or Etsy. I'm not sure. But I know I've seen them at um, Hobby Lobby. I've seen them at Joann's. I've seen them at, what are the other craft stores that are around? Hi, Belinda. How are you? Yeah. I'm back to crocheting again, and I don't know if you watched my last live, but the reason I figured I would go live is because when I used to actually do film the crochet tutorials, and then it would take me sometimes a week or two, depending on which project I was teaching, um, it would take me a while to do the work. I would say, okay, meet me back here at row 21. I'd have to shut the camera off, do the work for 21 rows, come back. And so that's why it would take me, um, sorry, that's my phone notification. <laughs> um, 
you're on row nine wow <laughs> i'm on row four it's because i'm talking <laughs> um and so it and then i would have to start filming again and say okay well now here's row 21 now we're going to do this and do that it takes a while to film and then once i film i have to edit it i have to go through all the footage edit it edit out my mistakes that i might have said or edit out you know too much jabbering that i did cut out some of my talking because i talk too much um, and then I would have to, once I was done editing, after a few days of editing, then I would upload it. It's a lot of work, guys. So I thought, how can I go back to my crochet um, community and teach them more crochet stuff without having to do that much work that I don't have the time for anymore? And so I thought I came up with the idea of live crochet alongs. And... I figured we could chit chat and we could do the work together. So I'm on row four, guys. Um, and no editing involved at all. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what I came up with. The only thing that I'm noticing is that the um, portion where you're, where you're watching my hands, I noticed last week on the crochet along, because it's live, um, it wasn't as clear, but I'm using a different camera today, but it seems like it's still a little fuzzy, but that's kind of a trade-off. I'm either gonna not do crochet tutorials because I don't have time to film and edit and everything, so that means I wouldn't bring you any crochet tutorials, or I'm gonna do it this way and it might be a little bit blurry, um, but at least you'll get the verbal instruction of the tutorial that I'm teaching, I guess. So I'm at the end of my row here, end of row four. Chain one, turn my work clockwise, and my row counter, row five. Okay. Um, so if I don't get to finish, because I set my timer for an hour, I'm sure it's going to take me a lot longer than an hour. Um, we can pick this up next week. Or I can just stay on until I finish. And that way I can show you how I'm going to um, put it all together, sew it all together so that it becomes a fingerless glove. And like I said, I'm using this really nice thin cotton yarn, Bernat cottonish yarn, so that it's nice and it'll breathe for summertime. See, I'm making myself fingerless driving gloves so that I can avoid sunspots on my hands when I'm driving. Um, when I'm a passenger and Adam's driving and I feel the sun on my hands, I'll put my hands either up here where the, where the sun's not getting them or I'll sit on my hands so that um, the sun doesn't get my hands. I'm always trying to protect my hands from getting sunspots. That might sound a little vain, but hey, I only have one skin and I have no do-overs on this skin, so if I get sunspots, it's not that easy to undo them, <laughs> if you can even undo them. I'm sure there's creams out there that will minimize them, and there's surgeries out there that will minimize them too, but um, yeah, I don't want to, I'd, I'd rather avoid them than having to figure out how to get rid of them. So now I'm on row six. Um... Get wrecked says, hey, Glamma, long time no see, Jerome from Auburn Pacific. Jerome, from the congregation over there? Is that, is that the Auburn Pacific you're talking about? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> if it is, Diane says, I'm on row 12. You show off, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's easy when you're just sitting back and I'm talking too much, but I don't, wanna, I don't want y'all to be bored by me just sitting here crocheting and not saying anything, so I'm trying to make conversation with y'all. Belinda says, great idea. I love the live. Oh, good. Even though I'm way back here and you can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> so if you're confused, if you're just now joining me and you're wondering why is she teaching a crochet tutorial from way back there, if I can't see what her hands are doing, um, a minute ago I had camera two on my hands and you could see exactly what I was doing and now I'm just repeating each row that I just showed the instruction for and I figured I would save my back 
and sit back and relax and chit chat with y'all while I crochet all the rows. In a minute, I'll switch back to camera two so that you can see what I'm doing for anyone that might have just joined me. Yep, yep, Brother Bryson. Okay. <laughs> Hi, good, good to see you. How are you doing? It was raining really hard over here just a second ago. It's been raining really bad because of all the bad weather we've been having, all the um, storms and stuff down here. I know over there it's really hot right now in the Pacific Northwest. Y'all are feeling the heat that we usually feel, and we have the heat as well. But yeah, now y'all are feeling it. Okay, I'm going to switch to camera two so anyone that just joined me can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I just finished row six, and I'm going to start row seven. So to do this project, I am making fingerless gloves, and to do this project, I chained 21, if you're using this Bernat cottonish yarn. Um, at the beginning of the video, I showed different yarns, um, Red Heart Super Saver, how many you would need to chain for that, how many you would need to chain for regular cotton yarn, um, and how many you would need to crochet or chain for thread, for crochet thread. Um, so you might want to go all the way to the beginning and listen to all that and then come and join me. Fast forward it and then come and join me. So I am on row seven now. And so I chained one for my height, for my height of my single crochet. And now I'm going into the very first single crochet and I'm just going to crochet 20 stitches, I believe. Yeah, because I, I chained 21 which gives me 20 single crochets so that is what I'm doing so when I sit back and sh get back on camera 2 or camera 1 you'll see what I'm doing I'm just doing this over and over row by row just single crocheting grabbing both parts of the V right there and just making single crochets with this Bernat cottonish yarn I am making myself some fingerless driving gloves so that I can avoid getting sunspots on the backs of my hands. I don't have any at this point right now, so I'm trying to save my, my hands and not get any sunspots at all. So that's what I'm doing. You can, like I said, you can use Red Heart Super Saver yarn if you want to make fingerless gloves for winter time. But this is for me for summertime. I'll keep these gloves in my car. And I'm going to keep doing this row after row until this um, reaches all the way around my hand. Okay, so 20, 20 stitches. So there we go. So right now we've got it this far. So I'm going to keep going until it goes all the way around my hand. And then I'll show you all how to stitch it together. Okay, I'm going to switch back to camera one. All right, <laughs> I'm back. I'm using hot pink yarn with my triangle shawl. Awesome. You almost finished with that, Andy? Okay, so now I am on row eight. Diane says, really, really, I live in Madera, California, and it's so hot over here. It's 81 degrees right now, but I'm sure it will get hotter. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're dealing with the with the heat, Jerome. I miss those movie nights you guys used to have. Aw, yeah, I, I missed having everyone. I miss having everyone over too. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all how hot it is over here, guys. We got some Texas heat going on. Well, actually, it's only 82 degrees, um, but it's because it was raining, so it cooled off a little bit. But yeah, it's 82 degrees, and I don't know what the humidity is. The humidity is so bad in Texas. Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. 32%? No, oh, what's the humidity? Oh, it says it's 80, 81, but it feels like 84, and it's cloudy outside. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to continue because this is going to take me forever, and I'm not going to have time to show you all how to sew it together if I, uh, if I keep talking. I'll just look up periodically and um, see if there's any questions. Belinda says it's in Virginia. It's 96. Wow, yeah. And I used to live in Washington State, you guys. I'm sure you guys remember that. I used to do my crochet tutorials 
from Washington and I loved the weather over there in the summertime. Um, there was only, I rem at least from what I remember, there used to be maybe a couple weeks of hot summer days, but, and a lot of times those were really bad because a lot of houses over there don't have central AC, central air, like they do here in Texas, because in Texas you need it. In Washington, you only need it maybe one or two weeks out of the year. Um, a lot of cars don't have AC over there either, I remember. Here in Texas, you need it. But I'm hoping that y'all in Washington and all these places that don't normally have the high heat that you've been having lately, I hope it's just going to be this year that y'all have that heat like we do in Texas. Or maybe it's the ozone um, depleting or whatever that it's going to be like this from now on. Times, they are an end, and just like the Bible predicted, we're getting close to the end of these days, so I think that might be why everybody's feeling that heat and everything, and the pandemic that we are in the middle of having. All this was predicted in the Bible, guys. <laughs> Andy says, where in Texas, Leticia? I'm in San Antonio. I live in San Antonio. In Washington, I lived, I started off at Gig Harbor in Washington, and then I moved to Tacoma, and then I moved to Auburn, and then I ended up in, where was I? Was it Maple Valley? Yeah, Maple Valley. <laughs> and then back here to Texas. Started off in Castorville, Texas, my childhood hometown, and now we've bought a house here in San Antonio. High humidity is what makes it so uncomfortable. Exactly. I don't mind the heat. It's the humidity that's so bad. But you kind of acclimate to the humidity as well um, once you've lived here for a while. Um, one thing, I'm going to show the camera really quick, really close up. Because for anyone that's just joining me, I'm at the end of a row. And you have to remember not to forget the very last stitch of the row, guys, or else you'll get lopsided work. And that is one of the questions that I used to, I don't know why I can't get in there. That's one of the questions that I used to get all the time. Why is my work not coming out square? Well, it's because they're not going to the very end of the row or when they start over here, they're skipping too many stitches. They're not going into that first one. They keep going into this one. And then on the next row, they go, you know, so it starts to angle this way. At the end of the row, if you don't get that very last one, it's going to angle that way. So make sure you get the very last stitch of the row. If you have to count each single stitch so that you know you're um, ending with the same amount of stitches that you started with, then you might have to do that until you start getting more comfortable with crocheting, okay? But anyway, I'm going to switch back to the camera over here. All right. Debbie says, okay. Um, Lisa says, hi, haven't seen you in a long while. Hope you are doing great. I am. I'm doing good. Thank you so much. Okay, so that is a new row. I think I'm on row 10 now. And so those of y'all that are here crocheting along with me, thank you so much for joining me. And I should be doing this every Tuesday once a week for now and then once I get all the bugs worked out maybe we'll start doing it two times a week okay and today we are crocheting super super easy fingerless gloves I'm using very um, nicely thin yarn that breathes um, cotton yarn that breathes because I'm going to keep these in my car as fingerless driving gloves to possibly avoid getting sunspots. You know how the sun hits your hands when you're driving? I don't want to get any sunspots, so that's why I'm making these. <laughs> I was going to use regular Red Heart Super Saver yarn, but I thought I won't use them until winter time. And I thought, let me use this nice Bernat cottonish yarn so that I can keep these in my car and use them every time I drive so I can avoid sunspots. So depending on where you guys are, you can use cotton yarn if you want, or you can use Red Heart Super Saver yarn, whatever you want. Okay, row 11. What row are you on, Diane? You're going to finish way before me. <laughs> 
I've got my timer set for an hour, but I've probably spent like 20 minutes explaining to you all the different yarns that you could use and how many chains to make for each of the different yarns that you might have near you that you're crocheting with. Um, so I think I took like 15, 20 minutes doing that. And then I started the project. Okay, so if you see me back here, I am crocheting. I just, my back hurts when I'm using camera too. I have to be bent over like this um, be, to get where the camera is. So I have to get a different table so that I can be like this and crocheting and still being on the camera. You're on 23, girl? Oh my goodness, I'm on row 11. <laughs> My word, you are fast. And you, if you're using regular Red Heart yarn, you won't have to make as many rows as me either um, because this is really thin yarn, so it's going to take more rows to get it around my hand. If you're using Red Heart yarn, you may not need that many rows. So keep checking, measuring it around your hand. When, when this side... On your hand when this side hold on when this side goes all the way around and meets back around over here where the seam closes then wait for me or if you already know what I'm gonna do then just go ahead and finish if you have an idea what I'm gonna do then just go ahead and finish your project um, but it's gonna take me a while to get this around my hand if I don't be quiet <laughs> all right Row 12. <laughs> Are you going to do a thumb hole? Yes, I am. But I'm not going to crochet a thumb hole. I'm going to leave a thumb hole when I sew it together. That's the super easy way to do it. I got a uh, crochet, a mitten crochet tutorial on my channel where I show you how to crochet a thumb hole. But I'm not going to do it that way. This is for super easy beginner crocheters. Let's say that you're a beginner crocheter and all you know how to do is chain and make single crochets. This is the project for you. You don't know how to crochet in the round yet or skip stitches yet. This is the project for you because it's super duper easy. You're just going to make a big long rectangle until it reach till it goes around your hand. You need a few more rows, Diane? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we still have to be careful with um, with this whole pandemic thing because it seemed like everything was getting better and now we've got that delta variant that's going around and i think it's pretty bad here in texas we still don't leave our house very often um i'm fully vaccinated i got the moderna shot i got my two shots um i'm hearing that those who might have gotten the pfizer shot might need a third shot a booster shot so I'm kind of glad I didn't get the Pfizer one because I think with the Moderna, you're only going to need the two shots. So I feel safe going out there, but it doesn't mean that you won't get sick. It just means that you, you're, it's, you're less likely to die from it if you do get it, if you're fully vaccinated. But they say that what's spreading it right now are the ones that aren't vaccinated. So that's kind of sad. But not everyone is for the vaccination. A lot of people are against it, so... To each their own you know we can't force anyone to do what they don't want to do um, we all have our opinions and our our mindset and our reasoning of why we get the shot or why we don't get the shot debbie says that color reminds me of the first new bike i got when i was a kid same color as the bike. Ah, yeah, this color. I love this color. It's very summery to me. 
So what have y'all been up to? What's been going on in your lives? Everything going good? Adam's still working from home. Um, he started working from home like probably two weeks after the pandemic got really bad. And so he's been working from home. He goes in, he just started going in like maybe once a week. He just started doing that a couple weeks ago, but for the most part, he's still working from home. Um, Everyone here is vaccinated. Adam, Finesse, me. I wish we could already get Petrova vaccinated so we didn't have to worry about her so much. So since this new Delta variant is still around, I might still crochet the kids' face mask. Remember, I the, one of the last videos I did was a uh, face mask, and I said that I would do a kids' mask next. Well, I decided not to do that because everything was starting to go downhill. The pandemic seemed like it was going down and I thought people are going to stop wearing their masks now. But now that we've got this Delta variant, I might just go ahead and show you all how to make the kids crochet mask. Andy says, I am off of iron pills for now. You know, I, I'm supposed to be taking iron pills too. <laughs> and thyroid pills, and I haven't been taking my thyroid. I need to take my thyroid, but I haven't been. Okay, I hope I'm on the right row here. See, so let's see how far this is on me. So on me, that's just covering the front of my hand. I still have to go around to the back. So if y'all get bored... Go to the fridge, grab yourself a snack, wait for me or whatever. Um, or if you have to leave, I might still be here when you get back from wherever you're going. Wish I knew how many were on here. Does any can anyone see under the under the video how many people are watching? Last time, um, it showed that I I had twenty something people live with me. It's like 22 people live. I go to my analytics on my YouTube channel and it shows how many people were live and how long they were live with me. Um, it says 12 live. Thanks, Marilyn. Yeah, last time I think it was 22. Probably because they don't see what I'm doing there. They don't see my hands. So let me see. Should I switch back to the camera to the other camera for a little bit? Okay, so let me just I have to bend down further if I show this camera. But yeah, I'm just making single crochets for anyone that's just joining me. I'm using Bernat Cottonish yarn. I'm using a 4.0 millimeter hook. I chained 21 and I have 20 single crochets that I'm doing and I'm just going back and forth row after row making single crochets, 20 single crochets. So I'm at the end of that row. I just chained one. I'm going to change my row counter to, is that 16? Doesn't seem like I'm on 16. I guess so. Um, all right. So now I'm turning my work around, going right into that very first single crochet. And that's all I'm doing. I am just single crocheting all the way down to the end of the row, which is 20 single crochets at the end of the row. And then I'm just going back the other way. And I'm going to do this until this goes all the way around my hand for my fingerless driving gloves. That's why I'm using this yarn. So I think what I'll do, so that when I switch to this camera, you all know what I'm talking about when I say that I showed you a sample of the thin cotton thread. So all, all of these little samples 
are four and a half inches okay so that's it kind of curls up on me but that's using cotton I mean that's using crochet thread and I had to crochet I had to chain I believe 26 in order to get 25 to get it to four and a half inches so yeah four, I measured all of them four and a half inches so that's that one and then here's this one this size and then I also did the same thing with regular cotton so they're all they all measure the same size but with this one I think I only crocheted 20 no 19 chains which gave me 18 single crochets so that's that one so that's using thread right there that's using regular cotton yarn this is using um red heart super saver yarn which is also the same size four and a half inches four and a half inches for all of these this one is red heart super saver and for this one i chained one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so i chained 19 to get 18 stitches so isn't that incredible how just using different yarns and different hooks i use different hook sizes for these as well i just don't have the hooks with me but i explained all that at the beginning so i showed all this at the beginning telling you how many to chain if you're using this kind of yarn how much for this how much for this and how much for this one so yeah go back to the beginning if you have a specific yarn that you're using i'm using this bernat cottonish yarn and i'm never going to finish this project in this tutorial if i keep talking and stopping what i'm doing <laughs> Okay, so once again, don't forget that very last stitch or your work will go crooked. It'll start looking like a pyramid instead of a square or a rectangle. So now I'm on another row. I chained one, turned my work around, and yeah, I'm going to keep doing this until the work goes all the way around my hand. I'm making fingerless gloves okay so right now this is where we are it's it's gonna look like this okay so from there to there and it's gonna go all the way around my hand i'll stop once the work measures once it reaches this side over here okay so i'm gonna go to the other camera now <laughs> all right so i can sit back and relax Let's see if I have any comments. Leticia, I sent you a question about sending you something by normal mail. Oh, you did? I never saw that. I didn't see that. Marilyn says 12 people. Debbie says being off topic here, but I believe things are going to get a lot better for America very soon. God bless America. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. Just this morning on Good Morning America, I was watching how the Delta variant is spreading and there's a lot of hospitalizations and a lot a lot of people are actually dying from the Delta variant because they're not vaccinated. So I don't know. I hope it gets better. That's for sure. And he says 13 people are watching on my end on YouTube. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, so I've got Facebook Live and I've also got YouTube Live. So I don't know how many are on Facebook and how many are on YouTube. Okay, so I'm at the end of a row again. So are you just um, hanging out now, Diane? Are you already finished with your rows? Diane's speeding right along and she was like on row 20 something and she only needed a few more rows to go. So she's probably just sitting there waiting, chit chatting with us, grabbing something to snack on, <laughs> doing chores, whatever. Yeah, um, I'll sh I was going to show you at the end of my project how I was going to sew it all together so that it becomes a fingerless glove. I will show you that at the end. So if you want to just hang or go do whatever you need to do and then come back 
or watch the replay of this later. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get all the way around um, to where I need it to be, to where I can sew, show you how to sew it together. Trying to speed, trying to get, get through this. <laughs> Diane says, not yet. I'm on 32, just a couple rows left. Okay, good. And then maybe um, on another live crochet along, I'll show you how you can make a cuff for this fingerless glove as well so that it looks even cuter. But the super, super easy way to do it is what we're doing right now. And then later you can add a cuff to it. Later, later you can add some little design on the fingers of the ends there. So we might embellish these fingerless gloves um, in other tutorials as well. I'll tell y'all to pull out your live crochet along fingerless gloves because now we're going to do a cuff and then maybe on the next live I'll say okay go get your live fingerless gloves. We're going to now embellish the finger edges of them so maybe we'll make these cuter and cuter as time goes on. And then maybe on another live tutorial maybe we can crochet a flower to put on top or something on top of it it's endless the things you can do to your crochet projects i need to message adam and tell him to check on the dogs they might have to use the restroom hold on message him real quick. All right, because they might have to go potty. All right. All right, so I'm on another row. If, I, if the hour is up and y'all are tired of being live on here with me, um, I might finish these, not tomorrow, but maybe I'll come back live on Thursday. Um, tomorrow we're going to probably go downtown and do some stuff that we've been planning on doing. Hold on, my yarn is caught again. Okay. My yarn was caught on something. Got my yarn in this Chihuahua cup right here. <laughs> Let me put it over here. Okay. Or maybe I'll put it over here. Yeah, put it over there. All right. But if I don't finish it, put your projects aside um, at the end of this video. And then if you want to wait for me, you can just wait for me. Leave that project there until I come back on Thursday. I would come back tomorrow, except I think we're going to be running around doing stuff. Adam's taking the day off, and we're going to do stuff. Go down to the river walk and have some lunch over there. Wear our masks, of course. <laughs> and Petrova's never been to the river walks. So we're going to go over there and do some stuff. But if I don't finish this, I will be back on Thursday to finish our fingerless gloves. Okay, finished another row. Oh, sure, you can do that, Andy, if you want. You can send me a coffee cozy cup if you want. Um, Anyone that wants to send me anything, you can send it to my P.O. Box. It's P.O. Box 1232 in Castroville, Texas. Zip code 78009. So you can send it to that address, Andy. That's where I usually get 
packages and stuff. We go to Castorville and pick up our packages and and stuff. We still go over there quite a bit. That would be nice. Thank you, Andy. So sweet. Yeah, those of y'all that make projects regularly, y'all should look into maybe getting an Etsy shop, an Etsy store, and selling your projects on there, making a little extra cash during this pandemic. And you know, a lot of people are shopping online right now. I'm thinking about opening up my shop again, my Made with Love by Glamour Etsy shop. Still there. I just don't have any. Um, I don't have any items in the shop right now. Um, so I might start putting items in there again. If I missed any comments because I'm looking down and it already went up and you don't see them anymore, then go ahead and copy and paste it and leave it again because I can't really scroll up and look. Tina says, hello, looking pretty. Oh, thank you, Tina. Um, Diane says, how am I? Okay, I already read that. So I had already missed Tina's comment. I had already read Diane's, but had missed Tina's comment. How are you doing, Tina? So I'm switching between camera one and camera two. This is camera one. I'll show you camera two for anyone that might have just joined. This is camera two. Almost at the end of this row, we are making fingerless gloves. I'm using Bernat cottonish yarn because these are for summertime for me, for when I'm driving, when the sun's hitting my hands so that I don't get sunspots while I'm driving. I'm at the end of the row. Don't forget this very last stitch right there. You see it? Don't forget that or your work will go crooked. Okay, chain one, turn your work clockwise around, and now I'm on to another row. Okay, now I'm gonna switch back to, eh, I'll stay on this camera for a little while. Okay, so I chained one, I'm gonna go right into that stitch right there, single crochet, and just do that all the way across. I wished I had this yarn in this blue right here because that's about the color of my car. So if I was if I'm gonna keep these in my car, I would have loved to have had this kind of Bernat cottonish yarn in blue, but I don't. I have orange and this color, and I need to go get more colors. End of the row again. Chain one, turn your work around, hit your row counter if you're using a row counter, and on to the next row. Okay, I'm gonna switch back camera so I can save my back a little bit. <laughs> See if there's any new comments. Oh, thank you, Andy. She says she'll make one for for Adam too. How are my grandkids doing? I know Petrova lives with you. I see her all the time. Yes, they're doing good. Um, I don't see the other four that often, um, since Daniel works, Jemmy works, um, and. I think Jemmy just got vaccinated. I don't think my son is yet. So we're kind of trying to keep ourselves distanced from everyone until everyone gets vaccinated. But I see them on Facebook all the time and they're doing good. T 
Tina says, that's okay, you're busy. I'm great, glad to see you on this channel again. Aw, thank you, yeah, I'm glad to be back here. Um, what have you guys crocheted lately? I know that Andy is making a, uh, did you say a shawl? Is that what you said? Andy, um, what have you guys been crocheting? What's been on your hooks lately? It's an hour. Okay, Google, stop timer. So we've been live for an hour. Who wants me to keep going? And who is already ready to get out of here and maybe finish this tomorrow? Or not tomorrow, Thursday. Today's, no, wait, today's, One what's today? Now. Okay, Google, what day is it today? Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So I can't come back tomorrow, but Thursday, um, I might be able to finish this if you guys are ready to be done with this live. I should have been able to finish this in an hour, but I need to, I need to uh, make smaller projects, I guess, for my lives. But here this is, and I'm not even close to going around my hand yet. So let's say it's right here. I still need it to go. Oh, I don't have that much further. Look almost there I don't have that much further to go so for those of y'all that want to stick it out and stay here with me and watch me crochet as you crochet and chit chat um, you're welcome to do so I'm gonna try to finish this and show y'all how to sew it together to make the easiest crochet crochet fingerless glove ever um, and if not, then if y'all want to leave now, just watch the replay of this. If I end up not finishing it, I'll come back on Thursday and show y'all how to finish it. Andy says, keep going. Diane says, keep going. Okay. Belinda says, keep going. Okay. All right. But I might have to use the potty here in a second. <laughs> so I might have to leave y'all for a second. I've been having to go for the last half hour. <laughs> so you might end up staring at my backdrop here for a while. <laughs> In a minute. I'll finish this row and then I'll go. And then I'll be back. So which camera do you like better when I'm just... when Since I'm just repeating the same rows over and over... Do you still prefer seeing my hands or is this camera okay or do you want me to go back to camera two showing my hands only? Let me know. Y'all tired of looking at my face say, hey, switch to camera two. Let's look at your hands now. <laughs> okay, next row. All right, I'm going to go potty really quick, guys. I'll be right back. Anyone has to go potty? This is our potty break, guys. Intermission time. Okay, I'm back. My hands are still wet, though. Because <laughs> I didn't want you guys to have to be staring at the wall for too long. So my hands are a little wet. <laughs> so I'll wait a second. So, yeah. See? Hands are still wet. I still have wet hands. <laughs> Let me try to dry them off, though. Okay. All right. Let me try to dry them off. Try to rush, rush, rush. See if there's any new comments. I've been making a blanket for the past two years. Okay, which, wait, wait. That's from Diane. 
but I stop when the weather gets too hot. Yeah, because you don't want that blanket on your lap. Diane says, I crochet about six teddy bears for my granddaughters. Oh, how cute. I'm working on this project with you. I also made a blouse for my daughter-in-law and making another one. That's great. You should, um, if you're not already joined in my Facebook crochet group, you should join and put pictures of it over there. That's what I, cro that's what I created that crochet um, group for is for you guys to show off your projects that you're working on because I would love to see what you guys are working on. I would love to see pictures. Yeah, so I would love to see those teddy bears and those blouses you're talking about, Diane. That would be great. And now that I'm doing these live crochet alongs, you know, I might get the crochet bug again where maybe I'll film some crochet tutorials and edit them and put them up. You know, it's just, this was my way of kind of my comeback is doing it this way. So it's a easy comeback where I don't have to edit or anything. Um, but once I do this for a while, maybe I'll just do crochet alongs once a week and then maybe we'll get actual real tutorials that I film and edit and upload, you know, maybe once a week. I don't know. I, I'm not going to promise, promise that, but yeah doing live crochet alongs i can really only do small projects in a short time and as you can see this was supposed to be a short project but it's taking longer than the hour that i wanted um because i you know look at the comments answer the comments and everything um because i want to be social with y'all i don't want to just be here while y'all watch me crocheting that that could be very boring just watching me crochet um for more than an hour but unless there's a project that I want to do and I'll tell y'all ahead of time, this is going to be a three week project. So we're going to do part one on, you know, this live crochet along next week. We'll do part two. The third week we'll do part three. So we might do something like that in the future. If you prefer these live crochet alongs. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments, those of y'all that are live with me now and those of y'all that are going to watch the replay of this, let me know if you prefer these live crochet alongs or if you prefer the old way of me doing things. And I'll take everything into consideration and make a decision in the near future on how I'm going to proceed from here. But I also want to, what I said in the beginning, I want to thank y'all, especially those of y'all that are watching the replay later. Um, those of y'all that are live aren't getting any commercials right now, but I wanted to explain to everyone that watches the replays that those commercials, those ads that you see in the beginning, middle, and at the end of my tutorials are there um, because us YouTubers put them uh, or don't put those particular commercials, but we say yes to putting ads on our channels because that's a way of helping us out monetarily um, for the time that we're taking to teach tutorials or to put our, you know, whatever your channel is about, whether it's about makeup, putting makeup on, and you're having to buy the makeup to make the tutorials, or if you're having to buy the yarn to make the tutorial, it, you know, kind of helps us out with paying for our time and um, everything else. And so I was going to tell y'all that I, I really appreciate those of y'all that tell me, hey, Leticia, I didn't hit the skip ad button. I'm trying to help out in whatever little way that I can. So I really appreciate that. So every time that someone watches the ad or the commercial all the way through its entirety, I get a few cents for each person that does that when you don't hit the skip ad button. Um, when you hit the skip ad button, I don't get any any sense at all, no money at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I appreciate those of y'all that watch the ads in the beginning, the middle, and the end of my tutorials. It really helps me out tremendously. Um, little by little, each each penny helps. So the more ads you watch, the better. If you don't want to sit there watching the commercial. When the commercial comes on, just let it play, go to the fridge, get yourself a drink, a snack, um, or do whatever you are gonna do, water your plants, do whatever little chore that 
you can do if you don't want to sit there watching the commercial. That helps me out quite a bit. Okay. So I just wanted to thank everyone for those of y'all that tell me that you don't hit the skip ad button. Thank you so much. Petrova, what are you doing? I hear you. Okay, when you're done, if you want to come say hi, you can come say hi. I don't know if my row counter is right or not. I feel like I might have hit it by accident because I didn't lock it. So I don't know if I'm actually on the right row number. That's great, Andy. You have 17 subscribers. That's awesome. Are you teaching crochet on your channel? Yeah, that'd be great, Diane. I'd love to see your projects. So yeah, go join the Facebook group. It's... um. What's, it's a long name, ladies and gents. Just type in ladies and gents, and then it's, it's something like ladies and gents crochet show and tell happy hour. But if you just type in ladies and gents, you should see it on there. And then you just answer the few questions, and then um, you'll either get approved or not approved. You'll get approved if you answer all the questions. You won't get approved as a member if you don't answer all the questions. But I would love for you all to go join my groups. I have another one that I showed earlier or talked about earlier that's for all crafts. Um, if you're into other crafts besides just crocheting, if you're into woodworking or DIYs or, um, I don't know, stained glass or knitting or whatever, you can go join my other group. Okay, let's see how far along it is on me. Okay, so wow, look, this is already going all the way around. Let me make sure. I'm going to do a couple more rows though, just because that was the skinnier part of my hand. Let's see if it'll go around this part of my hand. Oh, it is going around already. Okay, want to come say hi? Yeah. Come around this way. Come around this way. Oh, this way. Yeah. So here's Petrova. Petrova is five now. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Oh, you smell good. What kind of perfume do you have on? Is it yours or mommy's perfume? Mommy. Mommy's? You know what it's called? No. No? Picnic Breeze. It's sour. What is it, Finesse? Picnic Breeze. It's called Picnic Breeze. Wow. <laughs> um, Lisa says, oh, my goodness, she is so big now. Yeah, she's five. We put glitter in her hair. You put, ooh, let me see. Oh my goodness, I see the glitter. So pretty. Yeah, look how long and beautiful Petrova's hair is. Look. Wow, look at she's. I love her curls. She's got, her hair is, looks long and it's curly. Well, when we, when we pull the curls down, it is past her booty. She has got some long, pretty hair. Does this pocket go make different colors? Oh, no, it doesn't. This is just the rainbow. So cool. Yeah. So your mommy is 30 today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to go do stuff in San Antonio tomorrow? We're going to go to the river walk tomorrow. Yeah, autistic mommy yeah. told me. It'll be fun, yeah. Okay, say bye to everyone, babe, because I'm going to show them the rest of the project. Say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. No, 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 don't do that. Okay. <laughs> She likes to say bye, and then she likes to cover the camera. <laughs> all right, so I think this actually fits me. It goes all the way around my hand. So let's see. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to do maybe two more rows because um, when I sew it, I'm going to have to use a little bit of the space, so it might be a little bit tighter. So I'm going to do a couple more rows, and then I know Diane's been waiting patiently for me to show how to sew it together. You'll be so amazed at how super easy it is. Okay, so I'm going to do about two more rows. Lisa says, so sweet. Um, hello, you are crocheting. She's a beauty. I remember when she was born. Yes. <laughs> Um, she's gotten so big. She's the joy of all of our lives. She's the sunshine in our lives. All the grandbabies are. But she lives here with me, so she brings me joy every day. 
All right, so I'm going to do two, maybe three more rows, and then we will get this sewn up, and we will end this live, and maybe next week I'll show you how to make a cuff for it, a back loop, front loop cuff for it, and then maybe the week after that we can embellish it even more and put a pretty little frill, um, little design on the top, a little embellishment on the finger part of it. Grab some more yarn. Yeah, so finesse will be 30. Finesse is 30 today. Can't believe my baby is 30. <laughs> Babe, how old am I? Am I 56 or 57? I'm 56, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm 56. I always forget. So, yeah, I'm 56. Daniel is 36. And finesse is 30. Okay, so there's one more row. Let me do two more. So my t my row counter says row 29, but I don't know if that's accurate or not. I'll count the rows here in a minute. Debbie says, so adorable. Thank you. Diane says, I figured out how to do the thumb area. <clears throat> I did 38 rows, and so it fits good. Awesome. <coughs> what, babe? Oh, yeah. Um, Finesse was reminding me um, that Petrova knows how to read already. Finesse has been doing some homeschooling with her for about a, year, like about a year and a half or so, a year or so. And so she's been um, teaching her here at home, and she already knows how to read. <clears throat> so she's doing really, really well. And she loves math, and she's good at it. Ooh, I have a tickle in my throat. Might have to go get me something to drink. <coughs> Andy says, I love her, Leticia. Aw, thank you. Yeah, babe, can you get me crushed ice with cotton candy water, please? I'm not sure if I missed any comments or not. My oldest son turned 30 in March. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, okay, I've got one more row here. I'm going to measure this on me after I do this row, and that way we can go back to camera two, and I can start sewing this together. And we can end this live crochet along. Yeah, I think had I not explained all that other stuff in the beginning, and read all the comments and talked so much I would have gotten this all done in an hour but what fun is that you know to just watch me crocheting silently I want that's you know I kind of like having these two cameras so that I can see your comments and respond to y'all and, and then I can switch cameras so you can see what my hands are doing So this is how I wanted to go live last week, switching from one camera to the other, but I, the second close-up camera just wasn't working properly. Okay, so I think I'm done with my rows. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. So she just brought me some water because I have a tickle in my throat. Have you guys tried, um, they're only like 59 cents, 69 cents at the grocery stores. It's cotton, it comes in like a liter or not a liter, maybe a half a liter, and it's flavored water. I love the cotton candy flavor. Mmm, so good. <laughs> so refreshing. Okay, <clears throat> so let me see. Yeah, this counter isn't, I think, I think I did like 30 something rows, but I, I don't know. I think I did like 36 or 37 rows. And so here's where we are right now. So you see it's going around my hand right now. Okay, so I'm going to come down to the other camera now and I'm going to pull out 
my <clears throat> tapestry needle and my scissors and probably a couple stitch markers. I might need a couple stitch markers. Let me see. Let's see which stitch markers do I want to use. We'll use one of those. All right. So, tapestry needle, stitch markers, and my project. Okay. So, I'm here at the end. Do, 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 do. Where am I? Okay, so I'm over here. I already changed one. And let me see. I'm going to leave myself some, quite a bit of yarn so I can sew it, leave myself a tail, pull that through, snug that down, this is, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it like this, and I want to kind of, hold on a second, I want to kind of see I'm going to put it on and I want to kind of see where I want my thumb to come out from. So I want it to come out from right here. Oh, the camera's too close. Um, so I'm looking at this. So I'm going to maybe stitch to about right there. And make these even. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to sew from here to there, and then my thumb will be here, my thumb hole. And then let me see how far. Okay, so try it on again. And then I think, how big do I want the thumb hole to be? I think I only want it about like that. So maybe right there. So take it off now. So about right there, and then I'm going to sew to about there. All right, so this is what I have going on. So you just made a long rectangle, and so I measured, I put my hand through there, and I measured that this is where I want my thumb hole to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this long tail that I have and I'm going to sew from here to here and then I'm going to come down one side till I get over here and then I'm going to sew I'm going to go down one side of the thumb from the inside till I get over here so that I don't have to cut it and then start my yarn again I'm just going to come in through here and then I'm going to sew from there to the end and then that will be it guys okay so let's get our tapestry needle I think I'm going to use my smaller tapestry needle, should I? Yeah, let's use the little one. Let's see if I can use the little one. See if I can get this through without using my... No, I think I'm going to need my threader. Okay, so if you've got poor vision like me, <laughs> you can use a threader, yarn threader. Okay, there we go, got it in there, all right, and so now get these stitches, and let me see, do I want to grab all, both sides of the V or just one, let me see, I think I'm just going to grab, you see the two V's right there, you've got that side and this side, I'm only going to grab the inside along with this. I'm going to try to incorporate this little short tail from our beginning tail. I think I'm going to incorporate that. So I'm going to grab that stitch and just the first part of this V. And I'm just going to sew that. Uh oh, why is it stuck? Why is that stuck? It's not a knot. Okay, so like that, just going to do that, 
and try to incorporate this with it. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next stitch. Hope I'm in. Oh, I'm not in the shot. Sorry. And then I'm going to grab the next stitch and then I'm going to grab the loop closest to me. So that. Okay, don't pull too, too tight. Okay, then I'm going to grab the next stitch and the next V right there. Okay, that's all we're doing guys. It's that super easy. Grab that, grab that, sew it. You don't have to be that precise if you don't want to because this is going to be on the inside of your fingerless glove anyway. Okay, there's that. <clears throat> Here's my stitch marker, so I'm going to stop here, right there, and right there. All right, and here I'm going to do it a couple times just because this will get a lot more wear and tear where the hole is, where the thumb hole is. So I'm going to go in and out a couple times right here. Okay, one more time to make it extra sturdy. And then I'm gonna go through the loop now. Okay, and I'm gonna take that stitch marker out now. So there's the top part, see how that's sewn together? And then, because I'm lazy and I don't wanna cut the, oh here I can cut this little tail since I incorporated it already. That's my beginning tail. So because I don't want to um, cut my yarn and then start it again over here, I'm just going to go through some of these little stitches back here. I'm going to kind of, you know how when we weave our ends in, I'm just going to weave through this beginning chain where we began our project in the beginning. I'm going to go through here. I hope you can see it's kind of blurry. I don't, that's the only problem with going live is that it's kind of blurry sometimes. Okay, so I'm just, and I'm not going to pull too tight because I just want to inch my way over to where I want to start sewing the wrist part of my fingerless gloves. Okay, almost there. Uh -oh. Okay, so we are here. I made my way across and right there where the stitch marker is, I'm going to go in to those loops there and start my stitching. And I'm trying to not pull on this too much because you know how I weaved it in there. I don't want to pull it to gather it. So I'm just going to go around a couple times to secure this stitch. Let me take this stitch marker out now. Okay, I'm all tangled up here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to secure that a couple more times. See, and now that I've already gone around a couple times, now I can tug on it a little bit more and secure it because now it won't gather where the thumb area is. See, I can, I can tug on it tight. See, and it's not gathering where I weaved it in right there. Okay, so now I'm just going to do what I did before. I'm going to grab this stitch and just the part of the V that is closest to me. I'm not going to grab both Vs so that when I turn the work right side out hopefully it'll look more seamless I hope anyway okay so that's what I'm doing almost at the end here you see how easy this little project is when you're bored or you just want something to do and you don't want a big project. This is perfect, perfect project. Okay, so I'm at the end. 
I'm just going to go around a couple times. And if you wanted to finish here and be done with it, that's great. You've got yourself a fingerless glove. But I think next week I'm going to come back. We're going to start new yarn here. And I'm going to show you how to make a cuff on this. But for now, let me take the tapestry needle out. I'm not going to weave it in. If you want to leave it like this, go ahead and weave your work, weave your tail in. But I'm going to turn it inside out now so you can see what I've done. So here's what I have. You see, you can barely see where I was, where I stitched it, but there's my thumb area. I'm going to try this on, and there is my fingerless glove. Let me switch cameras, but there's the bottom part that I just stitched. There's the top part, and yeah, look how nice that came out. So on my next video, I might show you how to make a cuff on here. Back loop, front loop, because you see how loose it is? So if you want it to fit nice and snugly, then I'm going to show you how to make a cuff next week. And then after that, maybe we'll make some like little shell stitches for up here. What do you think of that? Okay, let's switch cameras. Who's still with me? <laughs> so what do you think? This is what we made today. Yay. So this is our fingerless glove. I still have to weave this in. But um, because we've already I've already taken so much time on this crochet along, I just wanted to be quick and just show you what it is that we made isn't that adorable so super easy so these are going to be my driving gloves so that i don't get sunspots when i'm driving i want to buy some blue yarn cottonish yarn like this so that it matches my car but that is what we did what do you think <laughs> super easy right all right let me see if there's any comments that i missed while i was on camera too let me scroll back up here Diane says, not sure if it's going to be the same way or going to do it, but I think I did it good. Did you do it the same way, Diane, now that you saw how I did it? Is this how you did it? Um, my daughter just turned 39. My middle son is 34. My youngest son is 26. Sarge says, I have not seen you in such a long time. And... Let me see. It says, I learned a great deal from your videos, have not been creating crochet projects recently, neither have I. So that's how I came up with this cro live crochet along so that we can crochet together if you want. I'll be doing this every Tuesday. Um, I'm glad you guys, um, Sarge says, I've learned a lot from you all. Thank you so much for watching my videos, my old videos. Debbie says, thank you, Glamour. You're welcome. It came out real cute. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Diane. Sarge says, that is very pretty. Maybe I will try this project for my sister. Awesome. I like it. Simple summer crocheting. Yeah, and then here's what we made last week. If it was smaller, I could have I could have sewn this on top. But maybe um, next week we'll do a cuff so that it fits more. See how it's a little loose because it, it's just a rectangle that we turned into a fingerless glove. I'll teach you how to do a front loop, back, front loop, back loop cuff on here wrist cuff and then maybe we'll embellish this with some with some cute design over here um but if any of y'all ever want to make actual thumbs all you got to do now is just start crocheting single crochets around your thumb and you can do individual fingers um, individual fingers all the way or you can just do halfway or whatever maybe just make a chain from here to here from here to here from here to here do chains and then start creating fingers on here yeah, this little project, it's endless what I can do with it, what I can continue to show you on this. But we're done for now, guys. So, yeah, for all of y'all that were live with me, thank you so much. I truly appreciate for putting up with me. <laughs> I'm looking at my face while I'm just sitting back here crocheting. And So let me know if you like these live um, tutorials. Give it thumbs ups if you do. Um, let me know in the comments um, if you're enjoying these lives and if you like this camera when I'm in the middle of just doing row after row after row Do you like that? I'm just sitting back relaxing chit-chatting with you or would you prefer to have? Um, camera number two and watch what my hands are doing at all times. So this is camera number two and This is camera number one so I figured in the beginning I would show you camera two where I'm showing you exactly what to do with the stitches, how to make the chain, how to make whatever stitch we're going to learn that day. And then I would switch to camera two while we're just doing row after row after row. 
Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to join me back here on Tuesday. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time that I go live or that I upload a video. Look for my live crochet alongs every Tuesday around 1 or 2 Central Time, which is Texas time. I don't know where you are and what time that would be for you. But this is what we created today, a fingerless glove. Yay, super easy. And yeah, all right. Um, thank you. It was fun. Really missed your crochet lives. Aw, thanks, Diane. Thank you so much for crocheting live with me. I think Diane was probably the only one that was actually crocheting along with me. She was using Red Heart um, yarn, and I was using Bernat cottonish yarn because this is for summertime for my car. All right, guys, I love you so much. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. All right, adios. Mwah. Besitos.